click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of machine design 1. We are solving the numerical 2 on power transmission shafts. In the last session, we have figured out the amount of force acting on pulley number 1. In this session, we will figure out the amount of force acting on pulley number 2 and there we will design the shaft. So, with using the force which is acting at pulley number 1, we can find out the bending moment at bearing number 1 or bearing number A. The total downward force into the given value of the radius will give me the bending moment and therefore I will call it bending moment at point A is equal to the force we have known is into the radius that is 250 divided by 2 Newton millimeter. So we need to design for this particular bending moment. Let's move ahead for the pulley number 2 or pulley number B. Yeah, pulley number 2 of course, which is with respect to bearing B. Bearing B. Fine. So again the same formula we can use, the difference between those tensions and we know that T3 divided by T4 is equal to 2.5 and therefore substituting the values we will get 2.5 times T4 minus T4 into now this time the second diameter comes into picture which is 500 divided by 2 is equal to the initial torque that we have considered this particular value of tension 4 and this particular value of tension 3 which is the tension or tensions in the belt mounted on pulley number 2 and hence the total downward force acting on pulley number 2 becomes I'll call it force number 2 this value plus tension 4 value plus the weight of the pulley that is given 30 kilogram into 9.81 the total value comes out to be this particular value of force 2 of course the bending moment at about point B can be found out using the total downward force into the diameter and therefore I will call it bending moment at B or about B will be equal to The diameter 2 of course is 500 divided by 2 and the answer comes out to be of course the unit will be Newton millimeter, Newton millimeter. So this is what the value of the total bending moment about point B, about point B. Let's move ahead and there comes the logical statement that the maximum bending moment is acting at point or about the point A. We can compare the values of of course let us write down the statement bending moment about A is greater than bending moment about point B and that's why this is the conclusion we have drawn and that's why we need to consider maximum bending moment in this case. Now let us design our shaft considering the maximum shear stress theory and that is what the formula we have using this formula let's substitute the values. Now for the given shaft we already have derived some of the formulae. The formula which say which will directly give us the diameter of the shaft it becomes a torsional moment and hence it becomes 16 divided by pi d cube now the shaft is not hollow that's why it remains the d cube the values we have figured out so far are the maximum bending moment at point a let me highlight the value and this becomes torsional moment let's substitute the values the values become this which is the bending moment about point a and this is the torsional moment that we have already figured out upon solving we'll get tau max is equal to some constant of course this is the solving part numerical part we can finish out at home divided by d cube we already know that the maximum allowable stress in our case becomes and hence if I substitute this value over here I can get the value of d cube. I have already done the calculation for your case therefore d comes out to be of course this is not the preferred value therefore we can raise this value therefore d of of course shaft comes out to be 
44 millimeter and that is what your final answer for the design of particular shaft is but that is not the end of our problem because we have been given the second condition also a design is based on the rigidity also we have to carry out we already know this formula that is called bending moment equation so if we substitute the value of this particular polar moment of inertia in the formula the formula gets converted to this particular value where theta is expressed in terms of degree in this case theta was expressed in terms of radians and therefore if we substitute the value into the given allowable value of the theta that is twist upon solving we will get somewhere around 48.7 preferred value will go for and therefore d of shaft can be assumed to be 50 millimeter now we have been given two condition one was strength and another was this angle of twist now, we know that diameter or the function of diameter is inversely proportional with the both these given conditions so more the diameter safer is the value and hence this is our final selection and for which design is safe let me quickly repeat that with respect to the strength we have found out the diameter the standard series of diameter to be 44 millimeter and with the help of rigidity concept we have found that the diameter is 50 since 44 is safe for the strain but it is not safe for the rigidity we have to go for the value 50 millimeter of diameter of shaft which will be safe in both the conditions in case of theta that is angle of twist and in case of strength and hence that is the final value of diameter of shaft so there we end with the second numerical based on the power transmission of shafts or by the shafts thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to ikeda thank you